Uh, my name is John Gore from the University of Washington. And I'm a urologist and urologic oncologist, uh, and I support the use of partial nephrectomy for management of the small renal mass uh, in older patients. The framing of the debate uh, is that there has been some uncertainty and some controversy about the use of partial versus radical nephrectomy for small renal masses, uh, especially among elderly patients where they have competing risks of other causes uh, that may lead to mortality. So the benefit of partial nephrectomy, which has been shown in community samples to be a fairly underutilized procedure, not enough patients with small masses, we think, are getting partial nephrectomy. The benefit is mediated through preservation of more substance of the kidney. So basically, by leaving more kidney behind, you are significantly reducing that patient's risk of having chronic kidney disease. And we know that kidney disease begets cardiovascular disease and a higher risk of death. So the benefit of partial nephrectomy is not through any kidney cancer-specific benefit. It's through a reduction of competing causes of mortality. So we expect patients undergoing partial nephrectomy to have an equivalent kidney cancer-specific mortality, but an improved overall uh, survival. But this was questioned in the one randomized trial that evaluated partial versus radical nephrectomy, which was a European trial, an EORTC trial, that found a trend toward worse overall survival in patients getting a partial nephrectomy. There are several factors about this trial that make many of us question these results. Uh, for one, it's the only trial of its kind. So there has essentially been one randomized trial to evaluate this topic, and it recruited a small number of patients. It intended to accrue about 1,300 patients and ended up with just over 500 patients uh, in the trial. Uh, number two, there may have been some concerns about preoperative clinical staging because there were more patients with higher risk tumors in the partial nephrectomy group than in the radical nephrectomy group. And importantly, this trial occurred at a time where not many people, especially community urologists, had prevalent technical faculty with the procedure. Uh, and so it occurred in a time before more broad comfort with the technique of partial nephrectomy. So in that setting, myself and colleagues um, from Michigan, uh, led by Dr. David Miller uh, at the University of Michigan, conducted an analysis of population-based observational data, data that links our National Cancer Institute's SEER registry with Medicare claims data. And we evaluated the comparative effectiveness of partial versus radical nephrectomy to try to clarify this issue in this setting of uncertainty. Anytime you have this observational data, data that was not created for the purposes of research, it was created as a billing database, we worry about what's called selection bias, where the patients who are in that data set between one treatment and another may have a differential risk of a poor health outcome based on their personal characteristics. So one treatment may have patients that tend to be younger, healthier, and thus biased toward better health outcomes. So we used what is the best available technique for evaluating the comparative effectiveness with observational data called an instrumental variable analysis. Uh, and this technique has previously been used to replicate the Scandinavian trial of prostatectomy versus watchful waiting using that same Medicare data. And what we showed is that there was an improved overall survival for patients undergoing partial nephrectomy, and that survival widened with increasing time since surgery, which corroborates this idea that it's the reduction in these competing causes of morbidity, uh, such as renal and cardiovascular disease, that account for the benefit of partial nephrectomy. In fact, the benefit was so robust that eight years after surgery, one would need to perform partial nephrectomy on only seven patients rather than radical nephrectomy just to save one life. So we conclude, and I conclude, that partial nephrectomy is the preferred management option for patients with uh, small renal masses, even elderly patients.